listen. May not come when you want him. Yeah. 
Now, for your listening pleasure, here's a new selection that I dropped on the record for you. Hope you enjoy them. It's something a little different for me, so, you know, check it out. Holla at your boy. God bless y'all. I'll see you again. Peace.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's clap those hands and give the Lord some praise, for the Lord is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together, for we have come out this morning to give God praise. And not just this morning, but every day is a day of thanksgiving. God has been so good to us. He has set us free. He has allowed us to live to see another day that we've never seen before. Amen. And therefore, we ought to be glad about that. Amen. 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 If it had not been for the Lord on my Get 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. You are worldly. You are worldly, God. You are so worldly. You are so worldly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are worldly. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Pastor Moore. Thank you, my brother. What a worship experience this morning. Jesus Christ. Something is happening in the ramification of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know somebody you might not in the sanctuary this morning, but you can feel the present in your living room. You can feel the present in your car. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The living present of God is in this place. Just reach out and just touch it. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. We don't come here for no form, fashion, nor no show. But we come to lift the Savior up. Come on, somebody. We come to praise and magnify and glorify his name. Because God is worthy to be praised. He's awesome. Hallelujah. When we do not even worldly, God's still looking beyond. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just for another chance. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God. Dwell with us. Fall afresh. Touch the mind. Our mind needs to be renewed. Father, we are of a battlefield in our mind. But I pray, God, that you will regulate it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your strength. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We come in your presence this morning. As the word teaches us, we must enter into your gate with thanksgiving and into your court with praise. We must be thankful and we must bless your name. And that's what we are doing, God. We are blessing your name because there is no other name that we can call other than the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We magnify you this morning. We glorify you. For your goodness towards us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just let his present absorb in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Rest, Holy Spirit. And remember your servant in a special way this morning. Undergird him. Lift him up. God, we see him, but we only can see him. But God, you can see within him. Move every scar. Move every burden. Bring it down lightly. That as he come to minister to us this morning, you put a word into him. A word that will encourage us, Lord Jesus Christ, because we all need encouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we're standing on your word. Because your word declare unto us that many are the affliction of a righteous. But we thank glory be to God. Come on, somebody. I said glory be to God. Glory be to God. In spite of our affliction, the word teaches us that the Lord God will deliver us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for deliverance. He will deliver us. Don't worry about nothing, pastor. Just keep preaching God's word. Preach God's word in season, out of season. 
Preach God word in good time and in bad time. Come on, Congran. Don't worry about nothing. Just watch God have his way. Just watch God have his way. If you serve a true God, that means you believe that there is no secret that God can do. You got to believe it for yourself. Come on, somebody. God, he is real to his word. Whatever word you believe that you read, it shall be so. God's word never diluted. God's word come with full strength. Come on, somebody. But first, the only way you can receive that strength, you must believe. Believe. That the word that is coming out of the preacher this morning is a word for you and a word for I. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let us stand and receive him. Come on, my brother and my sister. We ask God to just continue to just hold this young man. Come on, somebody. Continue to lift him up as we raise our hands this morning. Come on. Raise your hands and let him know that he's not in it by himself. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. We are all in it together. Yes. And if he fall, we will fall. But with our hands held up, he's not going to fall. Come on, somebody. Because we know that we are weak, but the Lord is strong. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. We bless your name, Jesus. Anoint your servant one more time. You know his name. You said before you're forming in the womb, you have known him. Come on, my brother. Before he came out from the womb, you said you sanctify him. You ordain him. And you make him a prophet to your nation. So God, give him a prophetic word this morning to this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shake him again. Oh God, touch him right now. As I present to you the servant of the Macedonia Baptist Church, Reverend Evan Dean Gray Senior. I want you to call his name. Reverend Evan Dean Gray Senior. God use him. God use him. God, God, use him in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. God bless you. I'm grateful to God to share some things with you this morning. Um, first of all, uh, our beloved Deacon Kinsey, uh, who is hospitalized, uh, uh, has shown improvement. To the point where uh, it is uh, baffling the minds of the doctors. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, won't God do that? Eighty-six years old. And he is, um, so keep him in prayer, keep his children in prayer, uh, because prayer changes things. Also, keep my family in prayer. My cousin's daughter was killed in a car accident earlier this week down in Georgia. Uh, so keep them in prayer. Also, it's just so much that is transpiring all across the land. Um, and we need prayer. Prayer changes things. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm so glad that God is still in control yes, God. Yes, of God. all things. Can, can, can you take me down on the monitors just a little bit because there's feedback. Yes, 
So um, we are indeed grateful to God for, for everything. And so we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, this week, uh, we had the homegoing celebrations for Dr. Witzel. And so we ask you to continue to pray for the Witzel family and the community Baptist Church family. Um, well, let me just read this before I get into the word. Uh, there's a shoe rally and that's being uh, um, put together by our sister Denise Robertson. Where you at, Nisi? There you go, Nisi. She has the, um, uh, the, the sheet and and uh, go get your sheet and uh, 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 let's be a blessing. She's always doing something to, to be a blessing to the house of God. And so also uh, we just thank God for her. Now there's Sister Dorsey uh, who will speak to us briefly uh, after the message. Uh, we'll be doing a demonstration downstairs and we hope all of you would go down and participate as uh, she will uh, demonstrate something that, that could be beneficial to you. And so we, we want you to do that. That will happen on a lower level after the Lord's Supper. Amen. Again, thank you, Reverend Hilton. Reverend Hilton, again, uh, again, thank each and every one. Let us continue to pray for those who are less fortunate than us. Uh, uh, Sister Kathy Green had a fall and uh, she done messed up her hand, amen, but God is good, amen. It could have been a whole lot worse, amen. We thank God that she's doing uh, okay. Listen, also, uh, I want you to keep in prayer uh, a brother, uh, Dwayne, oh God, see what I'm saying? Dwayne Glover. Dwayne Glover, a.k.a. Rerun. Amen. Dwayne Glover, keep him in prayer. He is home uh, from the hospital. Amen. But nevertheless, uh, he needs prayer. So uh, keep him in your prayers. And all those who we duly bound to pray for. Now, those of you who have your Bibles, I'm not going to hold you long this morning. Yesterday was cold. Yesterday was cold. Amen. Y'all do know we in February. <laughs> Amen. And tomorrow's going to be almost 60 degrees. <laughs> now, if that don't tell you that the end is near, China sending spy balloons. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so much is going on. From the book of Luke, chapter 10, for a brief moment, Luke, chapter 10. Luke, chapter 10. Verse number 30 says this. And Jesus answering said, a certain man yes, went down from Jerusalem mm -hmm. to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, his clothes, and wounded him and departed leaving him half dead. Lord have mercy. Leaving him half dead. We'll stop right there. Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Father, we thank you, God, for this time and this privilege that you have given us. Thank you because you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Our desire is to hear from you. 
speak a word in this place, Lord, that somebody might come running saying, I yield, I yield, what must I do to be saved? That hearts may be encouraged to continue to run on to see what the end is going to be. Now, Lord, I pray they will not see nor hear me, but they will see the Christ within me and they will hear your voice. Lord, you draw that out of darkness into the marvelous light. Father, this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Half dead. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, amen. Satan should have finished the job. Also, since uh, Brother Brian is walking in, he just celebrated a birthday. Amen. 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 Half dead. My brothers and sisters, have you ever found yourself in a position that you were in need and those who you thought would come to your aid act like they didn't even know you. French preacher. Those who you have invested your time with. Those who you have uh, spent uh, so much of your own emotional capital on. When you became in a bad situation, they seem to have gotten amnesia and didn't even know who you were. It, 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 it's amazing how people can recognize you when you're doing good. Yeah. But let some, some, something bad invade your life. And then they don't even know who you are. They, they would assume to talk about you than to reach out and help you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Our text, our text uh, uh, deals with a, a Jesus is, is, is talking about the, a man that traveled the Jericho Road. The Jericho Road was, was, was quite known uh, for its... its uh, uh, being people being vulnerable after a certain time of night amen somebody to thieves amen somebody hey, don't you understand that there's always somebody want to take something from you the little bit you got somebody is plotting Lord have mercy. They, they, y'all, y'all don't understand. Let me, let, let, let me put it this way. I, I'm not necessarily talking about your money, but there's folks trying to take your honey. That, I, I, let me get back. Sorry. That folk trying, trying, trying to take your joy. Amen. Somebody trying to evade space in your mind. Amen. Somebody trying to take your peace. They always somebody. Somebody trying to maneuver and trying to, to snatch something from you. A amen, somebody. Th th this, this, this man no, no doubt was, was leaving from the temple up in Jericho, up in Jerusalem, on his way back down this journey. And it, it, it probably might have fallen, uh, uh, had gotten in, in between after sundown on his way back. And the Bible says... The, the, Jesus speaks about he, he, he fell among thieves. 
they 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 took his 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 garments. Yeah. E evidently, it it shows us that this was a man of of a pretty decent standard. Yeah. They 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 wounded him. Lord have mercy. They they wounded him. They 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 hurt him. They they meant to do him harm. Lord have mercy. And that's just like Satan, my brothers and sisters. Uh, uh, many of us, we, we, we got our minds stayed on heaven and, and we love to worship. But, but when we leave here, the devil is plotting. My God, my God. Come on, preach, I preach. Ready to pick us off. Lord have mercy. He, he, Jesus gives this illustration because he, he is talking and, and he is trying to, to, to show you and show the difference of a real neighbor. Lord have mercy. And, and in other words, what Jesus is saying, it ain't always who you think. Lord have mercy that has your back. It ain't always who you think should be the one to do, but every now and then it's who you least expect. <clears throat> the one who you least expect to be the one to hand you a cup of water is always the one who you least expect that will be there to take their towel to put a to pat your head. It's the one who you least expect that will be there to encourage you. Bible says that, that they left him on the side of the road half dead. Half dead. They didn't kill him, though they tried, but left him half dead. Priest comes down from the temple and sees the man in the condition that he's in. When he sees him, the Bible says that he doesn't even attempt to inquire of the situation, but yet he crossed over to the other side. Ain't that something? Uh, yeah, ain't that something? I know you're quiet now. Because <laughs> some of y'all seen some folks laying down in bad shape and Lord crossed over on the others. Oh, y'all going to get mad today. Too good to say good morning. Too mean to stretch forth your hand, but sophisticated enough to cross over on the other side. Levite comes, Lord have mercy, and he does the same. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can't rely on church folk. <laughs> Woo! If you can't say amen, say ouch. <laughs> it's all right. Amen, lights. I got you. We here. I know I'm in here by myself this morning. You, you, you can't rely on the religious elite. Yes, sir. Right. Amen, somebody. There's so many religious folks that's so high and mighty, they ain't got time for nobody else. My God. They, they, they too, in, too in pope tent. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> they walking too high. They too, they too, they too holy. Huh? Their title is too grand. Go ahead, Go ahead. Their position is too high. Yes. Ain't got time for you. Come on, Do you know who I am? I'm 
Reverend Dr. Bishop Elder, Prophet, Apostle, Cardinal. Huh? No, I can't me touch you? No. Huh? My brothers and sisters, have we become too intoxicated with our titles? My God, my God. That we've become so heavenly elite that we are no earthly good. Preach, pastor, preach. Because just as this man is in this deplorable condition, by the grace of God, there go. Any one of us can be down. Any one of us could have met a bad situation. None of us are exempt. The problem is, my brothers and sisters, we all talk about how much we love God. And the Lord says, listen, if you are part of me, the only identifying factor that, you would, that I would know that you are part of me and that the world would know that you are part of me is because you will love the brethren. That's right. That's right. That's the word. That's the, 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 word. the problem is, my brothers and sisters, you can't expect those who are in the building to love those who are on the outside of the building if they don't even love one another in the building. Yeah. There has to be some love in the building and it needs to flow from the pulpit to the pews and from the pews to the pulpit. Come on, free talk. Yeah. Yeah. Has to be love. Amen, somebody. Love covers a multitude of sin. Listen, we all got some issues, but if we got a little love going on, Hello, somebody. We can make it through. Am I right about it? I, we may not have much money, but we got a whole lot of love. Amen, somebody. I, can't, I may not be able to help you pay your way through, but I sure can pray your way through. Come together in love. Let me just break out some points. Number one. Number one, that this man is in the position of need and help. If you ever become so saved and so sanctified that you are not compassionate enough to give somebody some help, then you need to just stop, stop what you're doing because... Christ isn't in your life. I, 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 I got that. I got that. The, 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 man, the man is lying there, half dead. The priest come by, the Levite come by, and, and, and they walk on the other side. But here comes a Samaritan. This is when this is when two halves come together. Lord have mercy. Come on, preacher. Two halves come together. Yes. He is left there half dead. Yes. And the person who comes to help him is a half breed. Yes. 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 Are y'all with me? Yes. A, a Samaritan who's considered unclean. That's right. That's right. Lord have That's mercy. Right. A Samaritan who, who, who by no means should have anything to do with this Jewish brother. Because the Jewish brother don't want anything to do with him. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Do I have a witness in here? Yeah. Lord have mercy. He, he should, he, if anybody ought to walk past him, it ought to have been the Samaritan. That's right. But the Samaritan stops. That's right. Attends to the wounds, stops his journey, takes his beast and put him on the beast. Lord have mercy. 
transports him to the end and tell the, the, the person there, listen, here's some money. Lord have mercy. Take care of him. And whatever expense you pay over and beyond what I've given you, when I return, I'll repay it back to you. Lord have mercy. Look at this. The Samaritan stops his journey, uses his resource of transportation to help the man get to some help. Then he invests his finance into the man's well-being. Lord have mercy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Can, can, can I show you something? And he says, take care of them. And, 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 and if you spend any more, when I return, I will repay you. It shows the Samaritan not only invested his time, invested his resources, but it also it shows that he invested his heart. That's right. That's right. Because of the fact that he was so compassionate towards the man, not only in the beginning, but he also makes him aware, I'm coming back. Yes, God. Because I want to check on him. To make sure he's okay. Come on, free talk. Now let me let me let me just wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. Satan attacked us. And many of us were left broken, despondent on the throw on the side of the road of life. Oh my God. Many family members yeah. left us there. Yeah. Many friends walked on the other side. Mm -hmm. Holy, righteous so-called folks yeah. didn't give a darn about us. Yeah. But thank be to God, yeah. another half-breed us in our condition. Uh -huh. What have we? Uh -huh. Well, Come on. his mother was earthly. Yeah. But uh, his father, father was heavenly. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. And while you and I were broke down, tore up from the floor, yeah. busted yeah. and yeah. disgusted, yeah. left for dead, uh -huh. guess what, Satan? Yeah. You should have took me out. Because while I was lying there, another half-breed came by and picked me up and took me to a place where I can be restored. He invested his love. He invested his resources. What is his resources? I had air to breathe. Lord have mercy. I have food to nourish the body. And listen, yes, my wounds were many. Many of us had wounds, but thank be to God that he healed our wounds and scars. Do I have a witness in here? Because by his stripes, we are healed. Thank God that a half uh -huh. came together yes, sir. with a half dead. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. He, 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 he was half earthly mm -hmm. and half divine. Yes. Lord, his name Emmanuel, uh -huh. meaning God with us. Yes. Lord have mercy. He was the manifestation of God on earth. Yes. He cared. For us. Think about it. No matter how bad of state we was in, no matter how Satan seek to destroy us, he has the ability to put us back together again. Lord have mercy. When Satan 
thought that he had you, that he had gotten rid of you. He hit you with everything. He sent sickness your way. He sent disease your way. And he thought that he had you. But thank be to God, no matter what the devil tried, we serve a God that was able to restore us. When the doctor couldn't help us, when medicine wasn't working for us, thank be to God, he sits high and he looks low. And he was able to restore us. And brought us to a place where we can be alive. My brothers and sisters, the key to the text it shows us love and compassion. I'm going to hit you with something. It is good to love yourself. It's important to have self-love. That's right. That's very vital and important. That's right. But here's the danger. When you only have self-love and you don't have love for nobody else, that's a problem. Yes, yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. That's a problem. Learn how to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen, somebody. And, and sometimes being a blessing doesn't even mean that you got to reach in your pocket. But what it means, you got to reach in your heart. Yes. Say something to somebody to encourage them. You don't know what anybody is going through. You don't know what pain or what 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 what's going on in their mind. Somebody's on the verge of walking off a rooftop or jumping off a bridge or putting a gun to their head. But maybe a word, a kind word of encouragement can help somebody. And that's what we need to be. Agents of love. Yes, sir. If Christ can love you, and Christ can love me, then why can't we learn to love each other? That's what we got to do. And it doesn't matter what race, creed, or color, what church somebody else go to, or what mosque or synagogue or doesn't matter. Just show love. And listen, and I'm going to say this. I know I'm going to make folk mad. It doesn't even matter what their sexual preference is. It does not mean you cannot show them love. That's right. Amen, somebody. That's right. Everybody deserves love. Amen somebody. Sin is sin and, and you know listen I'm not, I'm not advocating for a particular lifestyle but what I am advocating for is that we show love to each and every one. If we can do that if that can catch like wildfire the, the war in Ukraine will have to stop. Lord have mercy. Amen. The killing in our community will cease. Hello, somebody. Listen to what the word says. This is what the word says. The word says this. If my people, if my people, <laughs> he didn't say, he didn't say the ones on the street. He didn't say the drug dealer or the gang bang. He said, if my people. He talking about those who believe who are supposed to be believers. That's right. So the onus is on us, the believers, that if we continue to pray and continue to display the love of God within us and through us, we can bring about a change. 
church. Yes, sir. In our community. Because, see, the change will begin in the church house. Lord have mercy. Can you imagine if everybody in here loved one another? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? That we that if we could just learn to love each other, we'll get along with each other. You know, we won't be feeling so easily hurt. And we get all Huh? You know how you know how we, we get? Somebody hurt our feelings in the church. I ain't going back. Folk curse us out on our job. We be there every day on time. Hello. Amen. But let somebody look at us strange or say a little, talk a little harshly. Man, listen. That's all right. Listen, some people, they can't talk harsh at home, so they come to church. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Listen, sometimes you got to kill folk with kindness. Yes, sir. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, <laughs> I would, I would remind me of Reverend Hilton. You know, sometimes some, some guy talking, Reverend Hilton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just laughing at him. And he, yeah, 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 yeah. And in the meanwhile, he's thinking 10 steps ahead. <laughs> I know him. I know him. I know him. You know. Listen, it's, let me tell you something. It's good to be meek. It's great to be humble. That's right. Amen, somebody. But under no circumstances does any of that equate to you being a fool. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Anybody can think anything about you. But the question is, or, or the, the question is, is that if, if they think it, don't you act according to their mind? Okay, that's right. Amen, somebody. I'm sorry. I got best with y'all enough. Shall we stand while we extend the invitation? Maybe there's someone here. Maybe there's someone here or watching us virtually. Y'all continue to pray for me because you know with my back is just... A I, I, whole lot more I would like to do, but just, just sometimes you can't do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. You know, it was a time when I used to play football, and I loved to play football. But now, amen, somebody. Amen. I can watch it real good on TV and remember way back when. Amen, somebody. Amen. I, I, I used to be able to take a hit from somebody as big as Brian. Get right back up. Like it was nothing. But if I see him come in my direction, I'm laying on the ground playing half day. <laughs> Amen. If there one today, we extend to you the invitation to come to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. If you're watching us virtually, you can leave uh, the information on the message board, and we would gladly, uh, gladly return back to you a response. Jesus is calling, tenderly calling. This is the day and the time for you to accept him while you can. You never know. Tomorrow's not promised to nobody. You know, you say you're here today, gone tomorrow. You can be here this morning and gone before lunch. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. You never know when it is your time. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Just realize one day will be our last day. The question is, will you be ready? Are you in the position to say that heaven will be my home? Amen. And the only way you can do that is by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That, that's the only way. So if there's one, God bless you. May have your seats. Amen. All right. We got one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Praise God. Look at somebody say, it's never too late. Never too late. Never too late. Get, get, get a chair. Amen. 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 We thank God for our brother coming. Amen. 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 You may have your seats. Well, come on, give God praise for the. back to life. It ain't happening for the Cowboys. Just, let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. <laughs> Praise the Lord. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. It is good that when you throw out the lifeline that somebody is rescued through the word of God. Amen. Come on, give God praise. And it's, it's a man. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. God is looking for men, amen, to be in a rightful position. Amen, somebody. To be men of God. God is calling for men to be committed to him. You know, let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 mess some folk up here. Mess some folk up. Uh, matter of fact, let me just say this, because I, 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 I'm going to say it off air. God bless you to our virtual watchers. We thank God for you. Uh, there are ways to give, and it'll be put up on the screen. We just thank you for being participating in this worship experience, and we hope to see you on next week. God bless you.